play the pond? The pond? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. All right. It's a cold winter day and two unsuspecting friends decided to have some fun playing in the local freshwater pond. Little did they know they were not alone. Down in the depths lurked a terrifying monster, biding its time and waiting patiently for its chance to strike. Sean ventured into the pond, unaware that within seconds, he would fall victim to a deadly parasitic worm. Over the course of the next three to six weeks, Sean's life progressed normally, with little change. Soon, however, the parasite began to take its toll. Confused, Sean wondered what was going on. Wow, almost 258 million people were recently known to have been infected with schizosomiasis. According to his website, I must have gotten schizosomiasis when I was in the pond. It says online that the parasite's eggs hatch within contaminated fresh water. They take residence inside a certain type of fresh water snail where they mature and develop. The mature larvae are then released back into the water where even simple skin contact can result in transmission. The disease is common in children in developing countries because they play in contaminated water. It's found in tropical countries in Africa as well as the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, and South America. Dr. Kim, Dr. Tan, I think I have schizosomiasis. Yeah. I need you guys over. <coughs> Right now, yes, thank you. Did you make a house call? Come in. Schistosomiasis can be treated in the form of a safe and effective drug called praziquantel, which causes the parasites to be paralyzed and fall into the bloodstream. The drug should be usually effective with a single dose over a course of one or two days, and the worm will be neutralized safely afterwards. First, avoid swimming in fresh water because snails that carry the parasite often reside here. Second, avoid drinking contaminated water from questionable sources, and if you must do so, boil the water for at least one minute to kill any parasitic worms. There are currently no effective vaccines, although a few are being studied and tested. This disease is special because the symptoms are caused by the body's response to the parasite's eggs and not the worm itself. It's also known as snail fever due to the parasite's life cycle inside of freshwater snails and is growing with growing population and migration to urban areas. Mm -hmm.